to connect Stripe to Wix. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can connect your Stripe account into your Wix website and begin receiving some payments. It is very easy and very simple. All you have to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you will be good to go. Right there, I am on Stripe. So the first thing that you need to do is to create an account within Stripe. After that, you are going to sign in into your account and make sure that everything is working. Right there, I have an account already on Stripe, but this account is not complete. So you need to set up your account till the end and provide the business information. Right there, we have the dashboard loading. I'm going right there to the Wix website. Here I have connected my account of Wix, as so I am signed in. Right there we have the dashboard or the sites that I have created. Now, if you don't have a site or website of Wix, you're going to visit Wix.com, sign in into an account and create a new website. I'm going to select one of these websites, as you can see that I have already created, and then I will click on select and edit the site. Now it will load the dashboard of that specific website. And then we're going to enable the payment. Right there, I haven't connected a payment method yet. So this website will not receive some payments. All you have to do is either to click on add payment method right here from there, or you can go ahead and select the settings. For example, from here, you're going to seek or see on this left side menu, and then you're going to check the settings. Check the settings right here. Let's pretend that the bar or the payment method bar didn't show up. So we are going to see right there the settings in general. We have the checkout, we have the store products and inventory, booking, settings, and also the accept payment. Now we are going to click on accept payment, and from there it will show you the payment that you can add. For example, you are going to set here accept credit card and a debit card. So we are going to click on connect and from here we are going to see here do you sell any of the product products? No, I don't. Then we are going to continue to connect Wix payment. In this one, we are not needing to connect the Wix payment. We are going to set the right there. We are going to click on see more right there here we have it see more payment options click on it and then we are going to search for stripe it will be right there or we can go ahead and click right there to this one or this specific one which is a third party credit slash debit card providers click on it and we have priority also we have stripe square and etc this is the most important part this stripe is very important and very util because it supports recurring payments, which is or which are the subscriptions. Now right there, we are going to click on connect. Here, to connect your stripe account, we have a few steps. Click connect to sign in into your stripe account. Once you have signed in, your stripe account will be connected to your Wix account. Can't find your credentials or want connect? Just connect contact stripe. So you don't have an account, so I already have an account within Stripe, and as you can see, it is loading the dashboard still. So we are going to simply to click on connect. Stripe receives all the majority of payment methods. So we are going to sit or click on connect. Now it will pop up a window connecting or demanding the connection between my Wix account and also my Stripe. As you can see, this is the name of the Stripe account that I have. Jack Smith. Now, when you go back to this connection, it has re or written right there the Stripe account. So, either you can go ahead and click on connect, or if you want to set up another Stripe account for that specific Wix website, you can click on create a new account. Now, we are going to click on connect, obviously, because we have already a Stripe account. Right there, it will let you know that the connection will be set between those two platforms. As you can see, if I have a communicated or completed the steps for creating or setting the business information of my Stripe account, it will not take us to verification of the personal details. It will go ahead and already connect the account directly. But in my case, 
I didn't set everything, so I need to do that later. Now, let's pretend that everything is set, and here we have connected successfully. After the connection is set, you are going to be redirected to the settings again, and also you are going to see the payment methods as tried, for example, for the accept payments, is checked and set, and you can manage those. It will be shown up right there. After you have connected your payment account or your payment method of Stripe, you can go ahead right there into your dashboard of Stripe. Now, we have a lot of options within Stripe itself. We can create invoice and send them to the clients that we have on our Wix website. And also we can create some subscription for them. Here you can set also some payment links and send them to the customers. If you want to create a subscription, click on it. And then you are going to create a test subscription. This is for the first attempt to set a subscription. And then you are going to set the customer name, the duration, the pricing, or you can add a product. For example, a monthly subscription of having a clothing box of random clothes or etc. Also, you can set the payment. If you want to set it automatically, charge a payment method on file. You can add a credit card or you can email an invoice to the customer to pay manually. This doesn't matter till now. So I will let you see right there another method on how you can add your Stripe. So you're going to click on home within Wix. Then you're going to click on edit site right there. You are going to wait for the website to load up. Now we are on our Wix website. So the first thing as you can see here or consider is the website is already set. And this is a very important part for adding the payment method. Don't add your payment method without setting your website correctly. As you can see, we have theme or template ready. And also we have the shop ready. You're going ahead right there to the pages. You're going to click on pages and now I will let you see the store. So we have the shop. I'm going to load my shop and let you see the example. And as you can see, we have the products right there. We have the product set and also everything is uh, for the examples and etc. The price, the photos and etc. Now to add the Shopify or the Wix also shop, you are going to click on add elements. And for the elements, you're going to search for a store. This is the store. If it is your first time clicking on store, it will let you see that you can add store to Wix. So you're going to install the extension and add your store. Now, right there, we are on the elements and we can also add the payments from here and you can set right there the PayPal or pay buttons. You can set the PayPal or right there is due on Choose also the payment or the pay now buttons. Go ahead and set the payment buttons and then you can set also for the payment forms. Right there you can add any payment forms and also donation to accept it. Now for the pricing plans you can add also this one. Offer pricing plans for this one if you have for example a combo or you have a combination of products or services and also subscription. Add it to your website and you will be good to go. That was all for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed the content and hope to see you soon on the next one.